Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to Biblical Sexual Purity. In case you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, BS Purity TV, and visit my website, biblicalsexualpurity.com, and also egoeyeopener.com. Uh, follow me on all our social media uh, platform, uh, Biblical Sexual Purity. I had a revelation I want to share with us today and it has to do with the level of sensual dressing that people are actually practicing today. I had a revelation and in this revelation I was in a kind of uh, Christian gathering. It was uh, either a church, uh, in a church, inside a church building or in a Christian gathering outside the church. But what the Lord revealed to me, the Lord drew my attention to a particular lady who was standing, and I was at the back of the lady I was seeing her from, the, uh, from behind. I was looking at her, and the Lord revealed her to me as the Lord showed this thing, uh, showed this lady to me. And when I looked at her, I saw that she was putting on uh, a very tight not very tight in a way she was putting on a tight cloth and the thing was tight but not very tight but if you look at it you could see her panty lines and the shape of her uh, brothers on what she was putting on and while i looked the lord told me uh, that you see this level of indecency if anybody dresses like this, even if they call themselves my children, they will never enter my kingdom. This is what the Lord revealed to me. And uh, uh, about a month ago, I had uh, another revelation. It was even a dream. The, this one I just shared now was a vision, but this one uh, was a dream. I was in a dream. And in this dream, it was like um, a lady uh, took photographs, one title before and after. And these photographs were just still pictures. But as I was looking at them, the pictures had motions. You know how dreams look like sometimes. Uh, dreams have some, sometimes they could have some uh, things that could not be real in life that are not practicable in life uh the, they were just pictures uh, before and after but uh, as i was looking at the pictures they had motions they were like videos so and this lady was kind of doing a tutorial uh when she brought out the pictures they were just pictures but afterwards it became like a tutorial and the title of the tutorial was how to make your breasts look bigger and she was teaching people so when i saw the first picture that later become a, a video she dressed well but the second one she had to do a packaging and her little uh, uh, tricks and made her breast look bigger and while i was watching and looking at those pictures that became a vid that became uh, a video the lord told me that i will judge that i heard the voice of the lord said in the dream i will judge every seduction i will judge every seduction that was just the dream i had and i woke up from that dream why i am uh, making those video is to let people know that God consents himself with what we put on. We shouldn't be carried away by different lies. Uh, I know the Lord told Samuel that he looks at the heart of man and that he does not see the way man sees because man looks at the outward physical appearance only and is deceived by what he sees but god does not is not carried away by what he sees because he sees the inward part of man but 
A lot of pastors have turned the scripture upside down that God does not concern himself with what we put on. I know when I was about, um, I think I was about 15 to 17 years old when I actually had a dream and the Lord corrected me. There was one tight, tight uh, I used to put on, it touched my knee then, but it was very, very tight. Though the material was thick, but it was tight. So my the shape of my manhood was always printed on this uh, uh, tight I used to wear. I had a dream and the Lord told me in the dream that I should not be wearing that particular thing as uh, outer wear, that I should be using it as inner wear. Uh, why am I saying this? A lot of people have been carried away. They think that modesty uh, is not a part of Christianity. A lot of people go to church half naked, open their breasts, open their cleavages, or even men put on just ordinary singlets, handlets, with body tight and the feel like they, they don't feel any difference between when they go to the club and party all night and also when they go to the house of god to worship a holy god no we shouldn't deceive ourselves even if we deceive ourselves we can never deceive god because the god instituted uh, the wearing of clothes, God instituted dressing. When Adam and Eve fell in the Garden of Eden, God actually uh, brought skins of animal. God made the first clothes that man and the, the man and the woman put on. God made for Adam a, a garment of skin and also for Eve a garment of skin because man. God realized that man had fallen, no, having the knowledge of good and evil, and that he would be subject to lust, the sin of lust. Now, lust is a sin. If you uh, have become an agent of lust to the people in the world and to the body of Christ, you are not representing Jesus Christ well. It is good that whenever we are seen, we should be seen as true believers, not just by the God we have inside, but also by the way we look. If our appearance does not actually preach Christ, if people look at us and the first thing that comes into their mind is, ah, this one looks so sexy. If that is what uh, that is the first impression we make in people's minds and not reflecting Jesus Christ to them as uh, the light of the world, then we are uh, passing a different message to the world because we are light of the world. And whatsoever thing we do, we should do all to the glory of God. Uh, you can say you are a Christian and you are putting on a bomb shot to the glory of God, opening your cleavages to the glory of God, opening your a body dressed indecently uh, to the glory of God. No, the Bible, uh, Proverbs chapter ten verse se Proverbs chapter seven verse ten, actually calls a type of dressing the dressing of a harlot. So if we are children of God, that dressing of a harlot is what we should not put on at all. We, the children of God, it is not good for us to look sexy we should look holy because God is a holy God and he has commanded us that we should be holy even as he is holy. I am not stressing our, our physical appearance and living the holiness that comes from inside. Though if you want to look those God expects us that uh, uh, dressing a, in a modest way should begin with what is inside of us. So the holiness should be inside out. It should be what is inside and then we reveal it through our appearance. Thank you and God bless you. Uh, once again, I am Brother Hosanna David. Visit my website, Biblical sexualpurity.com and igoeyeopener.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Igoeyeopener and BS Purity TV. BS Purity TV is specially dedicated to teaching godly sexuality. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.